What's happening, boys? Check out this cool classic. The last one was a 73 CT90. This is a 74 Trail 90. This is the more off-road geared machine. And it's pretty cool, man. It's only got 2,138 original miles on it. Horn works nice. Still has the turn signals on it, which is pretty remarkable. Most of these got ridden off-road and the turn signal smashed. And remarkably, they work. The uh, um, headlight, the uh, uh, low beam and high beam work on the headlight. Check this out. So you can ride this thing pretty much four seasons. It's got uh, like a snow, snow slash dirt tread tire, dual purpose tire. And uh, it's original paint. Low miles has this huge rack on the back. This was set up for off-road adventure. You could put your cooler on the back. It even has, a, listen to the muffler on this thing. Kind of sounds like an XR75 on steroids. So a little bit bigger motor. <coughs> Similar design, four stroke, single cylinder, two, two valves. Check out the rear chain on it, brand new gold chain on it. Zoom in on the gas tank, Kenny, real up close. Show them the letters on it. This gas tank is in absolutely pristine condition. This was an option for the bike, a Honda factory option. It was an auxiliary gas tank. It has the original shocks. It has the original logos on there. Um, it has the original air cleaner. This thing was set up to Ford, forge rivers and go off-road on adventures. The breathing port for the intake is actually right up top here. See how it goes all the way up and the air box is sealed. So it, goes, it draws air from the top here where it's nice and, uh, nice and, um, you can actually feel it sucking it in. It's nice and uh, dry and, even the rear, rear brake light works electrically, this thing's a 10. What a beautiful piece, huh? It's been all cleaned up. It's been through the detail shop. Just had a full Monty preservation, what I'd call a preservation service done to it. So let me grab the work order and I'll go over it with you real quick. Here, we'll start at the top. The engine tested out a perfect 135 PSI. We removed the carb, just completely disassembled it, put it in the carb cleaning tank, cleaned all the jets out, cleaned it inside and outside and reassembled it and put it back on the bike. Uh, we installed a brand new NOS headlight on it, uh, put a new chain on it. Uh, we did drain the fuel, clean out the tank a bit and added a gallon of the non-ethanol fuel, set the tire pressures, put a new battery in it, filled it with battery acid, uh, charged it, put it in the bike. And um, changed the oil, did a nut and bolt safety check. Uh, Jimmy, actually, Jimmy Laurinaitis actually worked on this one. As far as the parts go, I think it was in pretty damn good shape when it came in. So we didn't need a lot of parts, just the battery. Uh, if you zoom in, you'll see it's a brand new NOS Honda headlight on it. Um, not a China knockoff. Uh, we had to, we put a new chain on it, uh, a um, gold 420 chain and the Maxima 10 weight 40 oil. Uh, then it went to the detail shop, got a steam clean, pressure wash, hand wash. Uh, the front fender was repainted silver, removed and repainted. The engine was cleaned and detailed. All the chrome was polished. We polished the frame side rails, um, put the vinyl conditioner on the original seat cover, which looks to be in excellent condition from this side. Uh, we painted the side stand and the center stand. Doc spent six hours on it, and Mark spent six hours on it, plus 10 hours in the detail, sh I mean, in the service shop. So it was a total of uh, 22 hours labor plus $323 parts. If you bought the bike in and we did all this work for you, the ticket would have been $2,470 out the door at 90 bucks an hour. So that's why a lot of these are sitting in garages uh, all over the country is people don't want to pay the shops to fix them. There are not a lot of shops left that do what we do. But um, this is an original Survivor, all original paint. Uh, the chrome on the wheels is in good condition. The chrome on the frame down tubes, although designed for off-road trail use, I doubt it was ridden off-road much at all. It looks to be in really clean condition. What about summarizes the work order? Uh, everything works electrically. Uh, rides, brakes work great. Uh, tires in good condition. The only thing I, I saw that it needed is the, um, the, the spring on the center stand is missing, so it's zip tied up. So if you wanted to get a spring up for the center stand, you'd be pretty much good to go. Junior, is anything you want to add about this? 2,138 miles, original chrome rack, the original this is an auxiliary gas tank. I think I pointed that out earlier. Um, you can see the main gas tank is underneath the seat right here. Uh, the seat's in remarkably good condition for a 46-year-old seat. That's for sure. Has original studded sides on it. Obviously, it was well cared for in someone's garage. And uh, we had to draw a line in the sand somewhere as far as what we're going to do for a, pre a preservation service. If you wanted to take it to the next level, um, you can. I think it looks great the way it is. 
you have any questions, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Thanks for, for watching, and God bless America.